Are you listening? Welcome to Superfast Tortoise. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey. I, want welcome you. I want to welcome everybody to the show that's on the show and everybody in chat. You guys are Good. amazing. Good but morning. Guess, but guess what? I didn't what? knew it. Today, I didn't knew it. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. But before you we know? get to the surprise, and I start to get out the surprise, I want to remind you that we are sponsored by CarnsOfTopia.com, where you can get dice bags for $45 a piece. You can get dice bags like this, or like Hillbilly's dice bag, which he seemed to misplace. <laughs> oh, yep. oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. You have vinyl yeah, dice bags. <laughs> Hell yeah. Strawberry bags. You can get uh, pin, lapel pins. You can get commander plates. You can get customized paintings and you can also get something really cool you can get cookie dude oh hey, hello everybody oh, he's back yes. yeah hey. Long time hello. No see. good to be back yes. how, how are you doing i am doing uh, 80% better than I was uh, back in November. Great. That's very that, good. It's been, a, it's been a roller coaster ride. Um, I uh, Just this last week, I had a seizure and ended back up in the hospital for a couple of days. Uh, so I just got out of the hospital. Uh, uh, Monday. So, uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in bad shape, but getting better. I lost my ability to walk freely. So mm. I, I got to use, a I got to use, uh, a, a walker. You know, I use that whenever I have to walk anywhere. Uh, but I'm getting stronger because I was laid up in a bed for three months. Mm. Like a lot yeah. Yeah, and then I, then I got really super sick with, uh, with uh, diarrhea. I got a, I got a, a con contagious uh, germ that, that infected my whole body, and mm. I couldn't hold anything down, and I lost a lot of weight. I lost like 30, 40 pounds. Well, that's a lot of pounds to yeah. lose in such short time. I can yeah. tell you lost lost weight in your face. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, so, yeah, but I had a lot of support from everybody, from Derek, from Ryan to Teresa to Mike, and if it wasn't for Shannon, I'd probably still be in the hospital. Right, right. We, we've all you been know. asking about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. During my stay in the hospital, I lost my phone. It was stolen. My phone oh, was God. stolen, so I it's couldn't call funny. anybody for months until I got a replacement phone. Right. And, uh, so uh, Shannon got me a new laptop because the screen on my old laptop got cracked. Yeah, in the hospital too. So now I got me a just a simple uh, laptop. A Chromebook. Mm -hmm. look amazing. Yeah. Is. So is that what you're connected on now? Is the Chromebook? Yeah. Heck yeah, man! Way to do it. Yeah. I'm just glad that you're okay and that you're back. Because I've, I've been worried about you and been asking uh, Taurus about how you've been and everything. And I'm just yeah, I know. Uh, I can do it and do it better. Yeah, I I do look better. Uh, you know, uh, it's weird being skinny, and it's weird having to, uh, you know, uh, use a walker everywhere. Sometimes right. I forget. Uh, you know, let's make uh, a, well, let's all make a toast to Coogee Dude. Yeah. To Coogee Dude. To me. And, yeah. and to, to the creep. 
to the grape. To the grape. Mm. Well, it's been such a wild ride. I had to yeah. keep so much information to myself that, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, but I'm so up. glad you get to hop on now. For those watching and those on the show, he can't show up every day because every other day he has stuff to do. He's going to pop on whenever he can, when he can. Yeah. Know? Take it easy. Yeah, and, I know. got uh For those of you who don't know, I have also have kidney failure, and I have to go to dialysis three times a week. Yeah. You know? And that's three or four, two or three hours a day. When I do on go. top of the trip, to, uh, on top of the trip to get there, because it's like an hour ride, right? Right. And what made it bad this year is that uh, the weather was terrible. Mm -hmm. my, my daughter Amanda, she came down and stayed about a month to help mm -hmm. to help me out and help mother out, and uh, yeah, so she was a big a big big help right know? right and every once in a while i get to talk to derek you know mm -hmm. it was hard yeah, i didn't have a phone. got to talk to you yeah yeah when he's not busy cutting his hands on cardboard over here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right that, you're right right well, that's a little more important than cardboard until late now yep. um but like yeah he's um yeah, it's been a progression. Like he first, when we first started talking to him, he could barely hold like ten minutes worth of a conversation. Mm. Last time I got to talk to him on the phone, he held up over an hour. So that was a major improvement. Yeah, it was. I that's good. I I was uh, I was always very tired and exhausted, and I couldn't I couldn't remember the next word I was going to say and. You know, my family come visit me, and I couldn't talk to them. I just went, I just laid down in bed, and uh, you know, went to sleep. But you know, it's, they took their time to come visit me, and I'd have nothing to do with them because I was just mm. so tired. And that one place I was in, Arstone, that was the worst hospital I've ever been in. Jeez, yeah, well, someone more bad. It was like you, you, you've seen the movie uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's a classic. Oh, yeah. The hospital was close to that. Jeez. You know, wow. The, the food was awful. You know, uh, they kept me in bed. They, they had a. And they had a. a uh, health, uh, yeah, see, and yeah, my memory's still uh, kind of out of there. But so, what's been going on in the world of in the shell? Well, we've been trying to keep busy every day as much as possible. We've been trying to keep up on topic. Um, we've been, we've been really just kind of wasting time till you got back, honestly. The show, this the show really needs a, a Papa Tortoise. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I can't so, be the only um, handsome man on the show. Sorry, he's a TCG dude. It ain't ah. been uh, <laughs> <laughs> the show. The show ain't been the same since uh, you wasn't here. Um, it just ain't it's been. It's kind same. of you to say. Yeah. It's very kind of you to say. Yeah. You know, like, you know, I think you all are, you're all a big part, you know, right? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm just uh have a blank spot where you guys fill in my blank spot, you know, because yeah. I got a over Christmas I got a bunch of uh cards and I yeah. thought I'd open them uh today if, nice. if it fits into the programming. Oh, you can open them if you want, for sure. Yeah. No one's going to say no. But we're just happy you're back. For, you know, we got you on the show today. Got your face showing. Mm -hmm. Seeing that pretty smile of yours. Yeah. Award-winning smile. Yeah, I missed you all. We you know, missed you. Missed the hillbilly. Hey. Yeah. Yes, please. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, cool. yeah. 
Tortoise, me and Tortoise almost got into it because I kept asking him every day, how's Cookie do? How's Coogee do? How's Coogee do? How's Coogee do? <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't get into it, but... Nah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah but, the time well, up, like, well, they don't want me talking a lot about what's going on, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kept it with, uh, you know, Yeah, like we even like had the full during the program. Yep. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey. It was like, uh, eight, two, uh, six to eight weeks where I didn't even use the phone. I didn't even pick it up. Right. Mm-hmm. It was hard for you to pick it up. And then when it got stolen, that was that was like the straw that took yeah. the camel's back. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Wow. Yes, yeah, that's some that's the people I cannot stand. Why still? Blow him mm-hmm. up. That's my commander. Nice. Uh, yeah. Blow him no. up, Taurus. Nice. Yeah, the other side. Yeah, the other yeah. side. Golly of the vast. Woo woo. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey, yeah. Yeah, so that's the commander. And I don't know what this is. Wow. It's for the whole deck. I'm not gonna go through the whole deck because there's thousands of cards in here. Thousands. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of cards. Biggest commander deck ever, bro. Wins every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, so uh no these are nice yeah that's a land base right there yeah i mean building that deck on stream and then i had to fix it off yeah. stream all oh, those brown in the house oh, that's, oh, brown. Um, that's just half look who's okay. back look at who's back pause back again yeah, that's cool. That means eventually you'll be able to start playing with us. Yeah, eventually. Once I figure these out, this one's not even open. Aurora. Oh, these are sleeves. These are sleeves. Yeah. Those are one of the best sleeves you can get. It's called Dragon Shield. Oh, you, can't you, get no better. you can't get no yeah. better sleeves than that. Oh, I yeah. forgot you did order yourself a commander deck and sleeves. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. And this is yeah, just I like another. Dragonfield. This is just another deck. That's a uh, neat deck box. Nice. Deck box. What's your favorite color? Mm. Yeah, green. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Nice. So, guys, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very You're much. Awesome. And I have to start. Uh, Learning how to play the game, mm-hmm. you know. I don't know how we're gonna figure that out. In time. We'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Also, nice to meet you, Cool G, dude. What's that? I said it's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so forward, exciting. And moving forward, yeah, he's I one of our newest I, members. Yeah, yeah, I purposely didn't put a major topic in today because I knew Daddy-O's was coming in today. That's why the topic of the show is, what do we do now, bloop de bloop I'm like, <laughs> I'm yeah. like let's play around. What I don't take the show serious anymore. This is yeah. a great, great surprise. Yeah. Uh, I knew you'd love it. Um, I, I love yeah. the idea. He contacted me the other day when we were talking on the phone. He's like, well, Wednesday I want to try to get on the show. If I can, and I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, you know? I see like, more the merrier. Yeah, right. I would like to. I want to surprise you guys. Uh, you know, I had to let Derek know, but uh, <laughs> I want to surprise everybody else. Uh, you know, it is, yeah, man, it's day, been a long time. You know, it yeah, is a great day surprise. Not the same, you know, and I'm still kind of, you know, lead-headed. So. Uh, now, I'll be talking and I'll forget what I talk about, but uh, it will come back to me. You know, but uh, yeah. So, yeah. Miss Tillbilly, I missed, uh, yeah, TD Jude. And, and uh, we missed super you. Super fast. Super fast. Super, super fast. fast. Yeah, well, but, yeah, but yeah, I did. 
But when I was awake, uh, I did uh, try and catch your catch your stream. Not every day, because I didn't feel like it every every day. I just wanted to sleep, you know. Uh, but I did catch a couple shows, you know, because uh, uh, I lost my phone, so I didn't have a phone for about two weeks. Right. Then Shannon got me another phone, and. I lost that one a week later, mm -hmm. or it was stolen. So, this is my third phone, and she didn't let me keep it in the hospital. So, <laughs> that's why I still have it. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. blame her. I don't blame her because heck, you can't trust hospitals nowadays. Heck, the no. doctor steals from you, or yeah. the nurse. They're mostly yeah. the only people in your rooms is the nurses and doctors. Right. They see something yeah. they want them and you're out of it, they're going to take it. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pitiful that you cannot depend on a doctor or a nurse. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a doctor. I'm not saying it's a nurse, but fingers I had to fingers point to one of them. Yeah, I, I don't think it was uh, a hospital staff. It, it might have been could. someone just walking by because I never took my phone when I ever had to go do Go do something, right? Uh, it could be, I mean, you're, you're right. It could have been somebody walking through by too, but uh, yeah, it could have been the cleaning crew. Or, yeah, you know, right, right. And oh, yeah, my son did call up the hospital and see if it was in lost and found, and it wasn't. But see, all my information was on my first phone, and I forgot. I, I forgot all my passwords and every, to, to everything. Oh, no. So uh, I have to, uh, you know, so like for uh, eBay, I still don't have my password for eBay. And I haven't been on using that since uh, November. Because oh, wow. I, I can get into eBay, but I can't get into my account. Because I don't remember. That's rough. Yeah, you may have to do uh, open up another eBay account. Yeah, and or, or you can contact account. eBay. You can contact eBay. Send them a uh, contact email explaining yeah. what happened, and they can help you reset your password. Yeah, yeah. So, so Facebook, I got I got back on. Uh, whoop, whoop. You know, so I have two Facebook accounts now because I started a new one. But uh, then I found a piece of paper with a, a, a code on it. And so now I got my old Facebook back. That's good. Uh, Which is good. My bank, I had to, my bank, I had to uh, call up and get, get them to break in and get my uh, password. And then I right. get a new password. Uh, Banks are good about that. That's one thing I like about banks. They can do that. Yeah. You know, so anyway, I'm slowly getting there. Uh, you know, I, I don't have all my contacts. I only have like a few contacts on my phone. Yeah. We're, well, we're here for you. Yeah. 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 Chill out, hang out, be awesome. That's what you do. Yep. yep. Hang out, be awesome. Yeah, you got to, uh, you, you, you know that, uh, that logo you made, made me, uh, yeah, uh, the turtle, uh, you still have that. You can send, send one to me talking about the, um, the cassette tape. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, someone, he, so you guys can talk. I'm gonna look it up really quick. Right. Yeah, I'm just filming my vape, but yeah, I'm I'm just glad that you're back and getting better. That's you know, the main yeah. thing. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. I'm, Health is key. I am getting better. Uh, you know, it's just it's just that uh, you know, I just need help walking and uh. I just kind of chill out most of the day, 
No, I am getting stronger, so that's when the I, thing. When I had my brain aneurysms, they stuck me on a walker. I took that walker and threw it, threw it away and get, got me a cane and started using it. Yeah, well, uh, I got a, I have a cane, but they don't want me using it because it, it keeps me one-sided. Yep. You know, but, uh, a, walk, a walker is better for you. Yeah. I feel like by the end of April, I might be off the walker. Right, yeah. and then you can use a four-point cane. Yeah, yeah. which I, I have. Which I have a four-point cane. The okay. idea is to uh, be self-sufficient. Yep. Yeah. Know. You know, I still got to build my. It's still difficult walking upstairs, but I, I do walk upstairs. But it's difficult because uh, my legs aren't strong enough yet. Well, yeah. I'll always remember, you got friends that worry about you. We're always here. Yeah. Well, thank you. you. Guys are, yeah. guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Yeah, you're yeah. All, you're more awesome than we are. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. um, might have to redesign you a logo, Daddy O's. Okay. You yeah, highlight like James's last message there, of course. Boop. Uh -huh. um, too much for a problem. Uh, don't select the walker. I have needed a walker and came for almost 10 years now. Yep. Oh, wow. There's our pain in the butt. Yep. Yeah. We all we we all had well some of us has have been there. I know I've been there. It was it was hard for me to walk upstairs when I uh, got out of the hospital. I do remember that. Yeah. Well, I don't have a lot of stairs to go up and down, but uh, you know, it, it's just uh, I don't know. It's just hard. You know, I can't walk that far because uh, I get I still get kind of worn out. But right. not, as bad as it, not, not as bad as it was. Well, I can walk a half a block and I get dizzy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 Well, that would explain the long stream sessions. You're like, oh, I can sit here and rock some magic, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that, but I'm sitting on my yeah. hind end trying to hatch his egg I'm sitting on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I'll start streaming a little more once I get everything back to normal, which might take me a year. Who knows? All right, here we go. I found it. You're on it. Yeah, you're right, Pauls. Yep, we've yeah. got to keep moving, even though it might hurt. I know it's tough for me. Oh, uh, that's what Paul just said. He's right. We do have to keep moving through yeah. our pain. And All right. I sent you a logo, Dad. Sorry. Okay. I got you it. Do have, you do have to take your time and everything so your body can heal and you can get better. Yeah. So my daughter got me some ankle weights that I got to start using, you know, so I can start building up my muscles. Uh, you know, uh, and what else? And I got the little dumbbells, you know, the little tiny dumbbells. I got those where I can start strengthening my arms. You know. Yeah, because I, I can barely lift 20 pounds. <laughs> You know, yeah, that's a far uh, cry from what you used to be able to lift. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're former military. You could you could do a lot on your own. Yeah, I mean, I'm dependent on I'm dependent on other people to survive. You know, so right. The, the best thing is, is mom's a good cook. So yeah, that's the that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good well, cook. I always yeah. say I always say to myself. If you got a good cook, you ain't got no worries. That's right. Uh, yeah. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so awesome. So awesome. 
Oh, man. I am the cook, so I never have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, right. You never have to worry about I that. Try, well, I tr well, I try to cook, but every yeah. time I get, step foot in the kitchen, I get beat up by two women. They sense. run me out of that kitchen so fast. Huh. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, okay, you cook, you cook. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Unless I start frying burgers. When I start making burgers, they didn't come in there. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Have, they love my hamburgers. This is a uh, welcome to Commander. To Commander deck. Yeah. Hold it up just a little more. I'm trying to read the name of it. Oh, oh it's uh, get it closer. Draconic destruction. destruction. Yeah. Ooh, nice. So, I don't even know how to open this thing. Hey, yeah, sometimes they are puzzles. <laughs> oh, joke. Starter commander deck. So, uh, I always open them from the bottom. Okay. That's, Ooh, the biggest, that's the biggest area on the box. <laughs> it's like magic Christmas for daddios. Yeah. <laughs> 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 James Willis said, but he probably burns boiling water. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so I don't know what any of this stuff is. I got this card here. What is this? That's a deck box. Yeah, it's a it's a cardboard deck box. So oh, when you don't have a good deck box like the one you did order, that, well, that this is a, okay, this is a box that you put your you put your deck in. Yeah. I got the green one here. Hey, that cardboard one, you don't really need it since you got that other one. Yeah. Yeah. That and cardboard one a temporary placeholder. Yep. I'm needing to buy me a bunch of deck boxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I got, what are these symbols? Oops. Um, those are just uh, cardboard plus one counters and planeswalker symbols. They're, they're, oh, okay. You don't have to worry about them too much. They're just there because they don't want to waste cardboard. Yep. I always just use dice. Dice. Dice, dice, baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're rolling. You're trolling. Little dice rolling. You gotta be <laughs> throwing. Those dice are on the table. There's no labels. <laughs> Yeah. Was that an AI tortoise I just heard? No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is the deck inside of it. This is a uh, commander mm -hmm. deck. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you mix this with a, uh, another deck or what? No, mm -hmm. so that card, that card in the back is to explain different formats. But that's a deck you ordered. Okay. You don't remember. You ordered that before I sent you the other deck because you wanted uh, something easy to get into, and that was more right. of an entry level uh -huh. deck for you. And you got some cool dragons. Yeah. Dragons. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It's like a world render. Like, nice. I forgot that was even yeah. a uh, a deck until we looked it up. I'm like, Taco World Render is a good card. Yeah, it is. Wow, this is going to be interesting. So you sent me a mat. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, the play mat? I don't know what yeah. happened to it either. But that's so you can put, play your cards on the table without scratching the cards or the table. Yeah. So uh, after, I, think it's on, I think it's in the bedroom where I can start playing it. Set the mat up and then uh, one of these... Weekend night, we can uh, we can play a game. All right. You know, you have to have to be really slow. I oh, I don't have any dice. One thing at a time. 
Yep. One thing at a time. One thing That's at right. a time. Rome thing wasn't time. built in a day. Yeah. Yeah. We're just enjoying your presence right now. Yep. Yep. I guess not. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. That's right. Yeah. It was brought in two days. Two days. Uh, <laughs> and a half. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man, what a day. So, <laughs> now we're all here. So, what's the. Are you going to do card of the day? And uh, we can. I was just letting you. We just letting you be you. We have yep. been out for a while. Yeah. Yes. Some days we we miss a few segments, but that's okay as long as we're having fun. Yep. Look, look, look. Nobody knew the show was going to be about Coogie Dude and his dad. You know, like yeah. I was keeping it top secret. So I, even though yeah. I I did tell people I had a surprise for them, but I didn't tell them what surprise it was. Yeah, you see yeah. a shrouded in mystery, so. Yep. And he did. Yeah. He had us all thinking and wondering, what could it be? Yeah. I yeah. Like it. We sound new. Is that oh. side that plush you on your side, TCG, dude? It is, yes. Thanks for noticing. I side picked duck. it up. I picked it up at GameStop when I went and picked up uh, some fresh turtle merch for the show <laughs> that's pretty awesome <laughs> too bad you weren't here when we were talking about like what if tcg turtles was in there oh god mm. <laughs> all right it was in magic that's yeah weird. that was and a good discussion and they might do a crossover one of these days you never know i mean right. if he crossed over the street fire street fire has crossed over with magic so it could happen Right, right. Don't right, make right. me grab my Street Fighter shirt. I got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter. Yeah, I like, I'd get a Mortal Kombat shirt. Mortal Kombat. Mortal but but TG Dude did contribute this to the channel. Even Chad, even Chad's glad you're back, Coogee Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well. It's good to have a person in the game that doesn't know the game but wants to learn the game. That's right. Yep. So I almost have all the pieces together. We have Um, most of the pieces. You got a phone with a calculator. That's good for taking, uh, doing life totals. Yeah. You know, like you'll need to learn one step at a time. We're going to have to baby step you through the process when you're ready for it. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's like you said, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to learn all at once. Oh well, I I know that. I mean, uh, you guys have been playing for decades, and and not, well, not me. I've only been on since 21, 2021. So mm-hmm. I'm wondering you know, it too. I feel you on that one, Mugen Fool. You know what's crazy though? If you were to be at like a Magic Con and then be like, collectively, there's probably thousands of years of magic experience here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How like, companies will be like, you know, all our painters have like, you know, uh, 200 years experience combined or whatever. Yeah. BS. So, so I, learned that, I learned that this card is an April Fool's joke. Oh, no. no. So, oh, did you actually review it seriously? In well, I reviewed it, but we didn't no! know what it was. We were like, we didn't I don't like that card it. so much. We yeah, don't no. find it on any official website. So we're like, it's well, it's on not the commander's quarters, but uh, maybe that's the name of it. One of one of the other popular YouTube channels. Oh, I know what we could do for Friday today. We could do all like all the cards for Christmas that they made. Hmm. But uh, there was a card of the day, Christmas. which was Rakdos's return. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rakdos' return. To, you know, oh, awesome. celebrate Dad's return, Ooh. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's actually a pretty decent card, though. It is it a decent is. card. I'll go TCG. ahead and read it. <laughs> so, Ra- yeah, Rakdos return. It's a sorcery that costs black, red, and X, and it says this deals X damage to target opponent. Um, that opponent discards X cards. So yeah, whatever yeah. mana you're pumping into it, it's going to deal that damage and make them empty their hand that many cards. Which, Ooh, as we right. know, you can't play Magic if you don't have cards in your hand. And that's <laughs> right. a really, really broken card, if you ask me. It's well, not super broken, but it's really powerful. 
In yeah. Commander, you can only choose one person. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's why you play this in a uh, deck that runs blue and you can copy it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, like, you know, what's funny is the the character featured in the artwork is now a cowboy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a rock oh, wow. the muscle. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Like, think about it. He's he was basically a lord of the Rakdos on Ravnica. Now he's on now he's a, now he's just a muscle character, kind of dumbed down for the rule on uh on a th- Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Me big Rakdos. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to see what the picture. It looks like a flower, but uh, it's kind of hard to see you at a distance. But it's, mm-hmm. it looks it looks like a beefy devil looking character with horns and a little flame on his head. Uh, kind of a skull based um, uh, face. Hold on a second. I got to sneeze. Yeah. Kind of. It, it is kind of hard to make out. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty artwork, but it's kind of hard. I do agree, Cootie dude. Yeah. It is kind of hard to make out. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to work out unless you know what you're looking at because there's so many things happening in the picture. Yes. So don't feel yeah. bad. Because it kind of looks like to me, it kind of looks like a dragon with a little fire guy sitting on its head. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. You can see that. I can definitely see that. How you mean what you see? Yeah. Right. Now, now, let's see. We got some pictures for the day. I don't care which is perfect. It's coffee day. That's right. It's and that's a picture day. of Hillbilly when he wakes up. Yup. Don't tell. <laughs> you wasn't supposed to tell nobody, dang blanket. <laughs> uh, always telling on me. <laughs> True. Uh, then, um, how do you how do you expect the Dark Knight to take his coffee black? That what's a, what is this madness? He drinks <laughs> coffee, uh, creamer and sugar too. <laughs> wow! Yeah, of course. Oh no! My husband's watching me add water to the espresso machine. <laughs> <laughs> Macy, yeah, no kidding. I actually watered my house plants a couple days ago. And I was okay. like, "Dang, man, it's been a minute." <laughs> house plants. More neglected than most ever, anything else in life. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, no, it's actually kind of crazy. Uh, so my old lady had a office plant that she brought home a couple of years ago. And um, half of our unit is, like, much colder than, like, the other half where we kind of reside. And for whatever reason, the plant just kind of ended up there forever in a day. And I remember when we took pictures to sell the building, right, we had our house plant in there, and it just looks so decrepit and yellow. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, it's embarrassing. So I've uh, nursed this thing back to health, and it's got a lot of fresh sprouts. It's much taller and lush. So, yeah. Right. Uh, sometimes you just need a little water and TLC, man. You know, you can get better. Hell yeah. Yeah. Say you talk to a plant, it uh, grows better. Yeah. Uh, Mythbusters ran an episode uh, talking about that. And it turns out that metal music is the most healthy for plants. Just the wall of noise. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. When I listen to metal, it makes me feel better. That's right. No. You are a metalhead. 1980s metalhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He has a, he has a whole office room dedicated to music. Oh. Oh, really? Now, like yeah. a library a of, of CDs and records and stuff. Oh, he has over a thousand records. He he has mm. like almost a thousand CDs. He has like a crap ton of cassette tapes. That's so. He cool. even has he even has eight tracks. No, eight tracks. Eight tracks before my time. Real to real. And it's funny when you listen to eight tracks. There's no the eight tracks go to about I don't know the late seventies, early eighties, and the the groups are really old. (laughs) I mean, you can't get any modern stuff on eight tracks. Yeah. And then they had the L cassette. I don't know if you guys remember the L cassette. No, it was no. A, it was a. It was a. Looked like a cassette. You know, it looked like a VHS tape. Right. It was that big, but it was a cassette. 
and it was a uh, eight track it was four track uh, mm -hmm. and they were really big but they didn't they didn't uh, catch on because the storage took too much room for storage you know, that's, that why the cassette, that's why the cassette took off because you could I mean you you could stack uh, six cassettes in one space for an eight track you know that's right and, but it just then, makes sense business wise. It's right. uh, the same reason why Magic related, why set booster boxes when they debuted with Zendikar Rising were taller, yeah. but you could only fit you know so many in a box when shipping a shipment. So they actually turned it to flat, similar to our draft booster boxes. Uh, yeah. Got more and push more. Yep. Push yep. more. Yeah. Yeah, then they, you know, then they went to the, the CD, and then uh, the the MP the uh, the MP3. What is it? The player. The yeah. They yeah. went to that, which was good, but well, once you go digital, you lose you you lose all the depth. I yeah. mean, you get, you get a clear sound, uh, you know, but it's flat. Yep, I know, I know right. vinyl records have been coming back recently. Well, vinyl records have been around; they've been still around. They're continuously around. It's just it's not it's, it's not every vinyl record songs or bad albums, but when they commemorate a band or do something specific for a band, they put it on a uh, record nowadays. I know, I don't know a lot of video games uh, come with vinyl records. Yeah, they're rising in popularity, bro. It's it's very oh, yeah, like hipster to have but, records uh, now. <laughs> yep. Well, the the new records they they're coming out with are 180 gram, and they're thick and heavy, and they're well made. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know they they cost ten times they did when they were out in the 80s, you know, in the 70s. Oh, okay. Uh, so you could you actually know. get a record cheaper back in the day. Yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of uh, record stores where you can go buy, you know, you can buy ten records for ten bucks. Right. Mm. But uh, you know, you gotta you gotta really take care of the records because uh, they do get wavy. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. They deteriorate after a while. Even like DVDs. Uh, so DVDs have been around for you yeah. know twenty plus years now. And there's mm -hmm. videos on the interwebs talking about their DVD collectors uh, and their whole collection deteriorating. You know, yeah. Getting yeah. time. So. Yeah, well, yeah, just uh, rot. Yeah. Yeah, time. Uh, you know, re records should never be stored flat. You know, they should always be stored always upright, vert vertical, or slanted. Uh, mm -hmm. Never flat. Uh, they should never be kept on the back deck of your wind back of the car because they'll melt. You know, uh, and then you got to find a decent rec uh, record player. And I don't like it when they call it vinyl because vinyl is the material they're made of. It's not what the product is. You know, they call a record. Right. And, uh, That's some interesting uh, information there. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's very yeah. educational. Yeah, you know, so uh, yeah, records will last a long time if you take care of them, you know. And then find a good, a good. Uh, when you ever find a good turntable, you got to find a, a direct drive instead of a belt driven. Mm -hmm. You know, the belts do break after you know years, but mm -hmm. the direct drive they never they never lose. They never lose a rotation, you know. Uh, What's a direct drive like that, where the cogs are right next to each other without a belt? No, it's no. It's just a. Uh, it's like a motor. Yeah. You know, you seen the motor with a, a magnet and a and the, the coils around it. Yeah. Well, the direct drive has a magnet surrounded by a coil, and oh, wow. they have two. Uh, they have two. Two little chips in it that keep the speed within within uh, one percent of the rotation. You know, mm. like my my turntable is uh, forty five years old and still still sounds like uh, the day I bought it. Nice. I bought it in nineteen seventy eight, 
and it still plays like brand new. The only thing you have right. to change is the uh, it's the stylus or, or the head, you know. Right, right. Uh, and and the, they range from you know a few dollars to a few thousand dollars. You know, uh, depends how much money you're going to put into your system. Right. Uh, but you you can have a great system, but if you have crappy speakers, then you you're wasting your money on a on a good system. You know. Yeah. No kidding. You know? You know. You'd be surprised how little of wattage you need uh, to, to have good sound as long as your speakers are up to snuff. Right. You just need like a few watts. Yeah. You know? I got these Logitech uh, PC speakers here. Sorry to like, you know, ramble for half a second. Yeah. But uh, it's it's not even a 2.1, right? It doesn't have a left and right and a sub. It's literally mm. just a left and a right. And yeah. It's like a $30 Logitech pc yeah. speaker but it slaps like it actually can hit some bass notes i'm like okay okay <laughs> but, the, but the new but uh the the more the more power you have in your in your system yeah the clearer your sound will be if you have decent speakers Heck you know because yeah. there's, there's speakers out there that cost fifteen thousand dollars each okay. you know and they're, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and the systems that have to cost, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, but they pay. They sound a little better than my system that is forty years old, thirty years old. That sound great. I mean, my uh, my my speak my main speakers are Infinities, and I bought them in '86, and, and they still sound good. You know. <laughs> And I had, yeah. and I had some uh, Sir and Vegas. You heard of those? Mm -mm. Sir and Vegas. Well, they're a popular rock uh, speaker, and <laughs> they're supposed to be un un -blowable. You're not supposed to blow them up. And I bought a pair, and uh, I had the wrong the wrong wire. Oh no. And, uh, I was partying and then I passed out and someone went in and turned my speakers all the way up <gasps> and blew my blew my woofers out. No. I just had them in a couple of days. Oh, yeah. That's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. So that's horrible. Now I use a uh, monster wire monster cable. Mm -hmm. That stuff you can you can put pump a lot of power through it. But then you got to have, because what happens when a speaker blows, you got current going towards the speaker, right? And the speaker can't handle it, so it pushes back, and then you got a wave, and it crashes, and that's what blows the speaker, because then it sends a huge, huge current to the magnet, and it blows it. Mm. You know? So you always That's gotta science. Have, yeah. <laughs> How dare you teach us stuff? Yes, how dare I? <laughs> you know? But it's what I'm interested in, you know. Oh yeah, you're uh, you're a music man through and through. I mean, those people have better systems than me and more records. There's a guy I saw on the TV show. There's a guy who has he has he has forty thousand albums. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Wow. And he keeps them stored in his uh, barn. And he yeah. has them, and now he has to move them all. Ooh, this hard for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, you know, I I don't care for all the genres of music. You know, I I like the when they're popular in the seventies and eighties, and the. Uh, Uh, you know, uh, uh, but there's lots, lots of genres. A lot of the stuff that, that I don't like, that's where the value of the albums are. I mean, there's a Beatle album that came out in 60, 64. Yeah. And, uh, and it's worth like 
fifty thousand dollars today because they only made like a hundred of them. Wow! Yeah. I didn't like it originally, so I didn't sell a lot. See, guys, we're in the wrong collectible market. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the wrong collectible market because there's a lot of stuff that was out in the 50s and you know, 40s, 50s, 60s that's kind of jazzy. And, you know, I, I like jazz, but, but uh, you know, I just don't, you know, a lot of those are worth a lot of money. You know, the stuff, most of the stuff that came out in the 80s is worth, you know, a few bucks. If you spend more than, you know, five dollars on an '80s album, you know, then you're throwing your money away. James asking if yeah. you're talking about the Meet the Beatles with the Butcher cover. Uh, I'm talking about the first, the first Beatles album that came out, the first album. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because uh, you know, I I don't know what the first Beatles album. Uh, I'm not a big Beatle fan, but I have all their all their uh, reproduction albums, you know, and CDs. Mm. So I did not know that a album could cost so be worth so much money. Yeah, well, it's, like, it's like a piece of cardboard can cost a hundred thousand, or someone spend two million on it. <laughs> yeah, both are long. Yeah, right. Both are long. And I mean, you got to think about how many babies were made to the Beatles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, lots. The Beatles are a great group. Uh, you know, it's just not my favorite. Mm -hmm. you know? Really? Uh, plus, it's kind of like a 10 years past my. I wasn't. It was a day, when I was a boy, their decade was coming to an end. You know, because they broke up oh. in seventy something. Oh, mm -hmm. so they were old news for you. You were like, yeah, no, I'm listening to like Jimi Hendrix and right, like, yeah, Pink Floyd, exactly. and Led Zeppelin now. Yes, that was my dad. Right. Uh, my dad might not have the hair, but he was a very heavy hair metal band fanatic. You know, yeah. you know and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that that's great that came out in the seventies and the eighties. I've been learning to appreciate a lot of the 80s stuff. I have a lot of 80s albums, uh, but I didn't appreciate the 80s in the 80s. Right. I, a lot I, appreciated, of back then. I appreciated the decade before this. Most of the stuff that came out in the 70s, you know, right. late 60s. Uh, and the 80s came out and it was totally different. You know? Right. Uh, but now I appreciate the 80s. I have a lot of 80s albums, you know. Uh, so the 90s, you know, I'm, I like the early on 90s and then nothing else. And anything after that, it's just white noise. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, feel the noise. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the 70s. You know, yeah. Scorpions, you know, Zeppelin, Stones. I can't believe the Stones are still going strong mm. after sixty years. Yeah, you know, they, they're the oldest. They're the oldest uh, rock band from the sixties still pr doing producing. Right, right. Huh. Yeah. The Grateful Dead did a tour. They're not making new music though, huh? No, uh, huh. the Grateful Dead. Yeah, they. They haven't put any new albums out, you know. Right, right. But uh, I think one of their Garcia passed away this year. Oh damn! So uh, well, that puts a kink in that plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James Willis, Sticks, Foreigner, Kansas, Judas Priest, and many others. Yeah, oh, I like me some Sticks. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah I like right. Sticks. Sticks came out, started in 1968. Maybe 65. Wow. Mm. I bet you found that out when you had too much time on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the original drummer, drummer died uh, about 10 years ago, so they got a new drummer. Mm. Uh, yeah, I like sticks. Uh, you know? Uh, pieces of eight. You know? Uh, let's, I can't remember the albums, but 
Yeah, I don't remember the the album names, but I definitely know a lot of their hits. Like, of course, "Come Sail Away" and "Renegade" yeah. and "Renegade." Like, yeah. Tortoise, uh, too much time on hands. Yeah, I right. like "Crystal Ball." "Crystal Ball" is a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah. "Crystal Ball." Yeah, they put out a lot of good albums, and they're they're still going. You know, pretty strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but uh, like. Uh, we got Leonard Skinner coming up to Alaska this year. Nice. <laughs> yeah. America. <laughs> yeah, people Leonard forget Alaska is still part of the United States. They just think it's a polar cap. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, Leonard Skinner is one of those bands that produced albums for two, three years. Mm-hmm. And then they had the plane accident and they, a couple of the players were killed. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's right. Huh? And, uh, I think Leonard Skinner has more greatest hits albums than they have original releases. Right. Um, that's kind of nuts. Yeah, I don't think they've put a new album out in 25 years. Probably. But they had some really good music that they, they could just keep flipping, flopping over and over. And it's kind of timeless it. Americana, essentially. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I like me some old country music. That's not my type of music. I don't I'm like good. country music, but the thing is, is that Leonard Skinner isn't just country. Like they're able to meld two different sounds, yeah. three different sounds, essentially, like I mean, so perfectly. I, I, I like old country. Like, uh, yeah, from the fifties and sixties. I don't like the new country because you can just turn on Neither a pop did. station and. Then, Neither do I, to be honest. I like those. She think my character sexy. Yeah, Yeah, that's the nineties. I like like seventies and eighties countries, like Merle, like Merle Haggard and Charles. Yeah, Merle Haggard. That's right. Uh, Oh my goodness, guys! Look at look at where the time has gone. I know. I know. Look how much time I wasted on your show where you didn't get to... Wasted no, 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 time? No, it's not wasted time. It's what wasted time? time? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to see. What did we waste? Know. It's a good time. But I enjoy really yapping. I've been yapped like that in months. <laughs> That's yeah. a bad line. This, this is a long line. It is. <laughs> I mean, well, we it's time we got to wrap it up. But I wanted to really? let Dad take over the show and have fun talking and everybody getting back with Dad. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah we miss good. Dad. And, like, he won't be able to be on tomorrow, but maybe he'll be on Friday. Who knows? Yeah. This is uh, one of the best streams that we've had. Wow. Mm-hmm. I am glad to see your back. And this is very good stream. I mean, it's a great stream because yeah. we now have you back. Yeah, oh, yeah. well, thank you. You guys, it's it's your face. good seeing your faces again, you know. Except, right. uh, sorry, the writing's really small on my I can't see it. Let me see here. Darn Chromebook. Chromebook. <laughs> Chromebook, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to start getting to the shill section while he's looking up. We're going to start with yeah, Billy. Okay, today is when I go get some cards for the giveaway that is going to happen here pretty soon. Yep, yep. Okay. I will leave more information. I will drop more information about it um, either today or tomorrow. One. We uh, are at 416 subs right now. 416. Whoop whoop. Yeah, I did Woo-hoo. lose a couple. I did lose a couple of subs, but um, make sure you stay tuned to the YouTube for more information about the giveaway. Boop, boop. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a sweet, sweet giveaway. I'm All right. anxious myself to get to do it. Nice. Yeah. And won't be no stream this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I will be streaming in the morning. Woo. 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Nice. Yeah. Day. Now it's time for TCG, dude. Yo, folks. I saw you get up and leave. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, because I was grabbing some of my product. All right. All right. <laughs> it is that shill time. So, um, as you know, I'd be kind of just lurking around the interwebs. Not a whole lot going on lately, but 
But what I do have coming up for project is a box break, a 2014 corset, Chinese simplified, box break. Um, nice. Yeah, so pretty much uh, there's 36 packs in this draft box. Um, I'm buying three of the seats. Uh, so there's three available seats at 20 bucks a pop, $5 shipping. Of course, if you buy multiple seats, I, you know, don't have to pay extra shipping. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, I will definitely find the time on my busy ass schedule to get this live streamed and all that. That's probably how I'm going to do it is, is live stream it. So just nice. uh, check in with me on Twitter or X.com or the discords at TCG dude. All right, man. This is uh, Super Fast Tortoise, and today I should be going live later on at 4.30 today. Remember, stay frosty, my friends. <laughs> yeah. um, I want to I thank everybody for showing up, and I'd like to thank Cougie Dude for showing his pretty face again, because he's amazing. I want to thank everybody in chat for showing up and chilling out in Savannah Lines from across the globe. I know it's like 2 in the morning for you, so thank you for showing up and saying hello. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay cozy stay frosty stay amazing let me search for this little ending clip and shockwave what is your command megatron subscribe for magic the gathering and other content for evil fun fear not megatron cybertron shall remain as